Um, I heard the two of you um, met each other and you were neighbors. No, no, You're that's not. the that's the bass player and I. The bass player, okay, yeah. so you were neighbors and then... Okay. I, uh, I was out drinking one night and I found a note that Agnette had been uh, putting up at uh, the men's rooms all over the town of Oslo. And uh, I saw her requesting a band and a lot of different bands she was listing that I also liked. And uh, I just just called her the next day, and um, she she has really tiny voice when she's speaking, and um, I wasn't really expecting much actually, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> but we met, and uh, I gave her a CD with some of the the songs that I've been working on, and she started doing some vocals for them, and she came to my uh, home uh, home studio, and um, I rigged up the microphone, and she was standing there. And uh, I had headphones, um, yeah. and uh, the volume, of course, turned up really loud because she had such a thin voice on when she's speaking. And um, the first thing that she did was to to, to make a, to, the most terrible scream I've ever heard. It was it was awesome, and it was really loud, so I almost fell off the chair. Just uh, <laughs> it was awesome. And since that day, I. I've turned down the volume, and uh, we've uh, worked together, and it's been awesome. So how come you well you posted the ad? How come? Sorry. How come you posted the ad all around um, Oslo? Um, I, I s were just mainly saying that I had been playing uh, in, uh, in bands before, mm -hmm. and that I had been uh, taking uh, singing lessons, and uh, and. Uh, Listing up uh, different bands. Uh, name name me a few bands that both of you were in and that were on on the ad. What 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 bands? Oh, it's six years ago. No, I, just I, think I just, just try really to remember. I think yeah. it was something like uh, Nine Inch Nails, Marilyn yeah. Manson. Yeah. Uh, probably. Not Marilyn Manson. Not Marilyn Manson. Okay, <laughs> but but uh, Nine Inch Nails and. Uh, Fate No More. Fate No More, I guess. Um, yeah, and and also a, a lot of uh, hard bands, but also uh, uh, jazz. Jazz bands. And we both uh, are, um, like jazz. And uh, what what jazz bands maybe? Uh, uh, John Coltrane, for yeah, example. Okay. Ella Fitzgerald. Okay. Yeah, of but, course. Well, but you can't hear the jazz influence in your music. Oh, you can. Yeah. What? Yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me what way. I, uh, bit our music is really uh, put together with so many different <coughs> styles, and it's really building. It's building out from the the hard rock, uh, groovy hard rock, mm -hmm. really energy thing with screaming and everything. Mm -hmm. And then you have the kind of a, a Beatles and more of the traditional songwriting stuff, where you have the melodies, and which we're trying to focus on writing not just hard cool riffs with uh, screaming, but uh, chord progressions and also a good melody and then you have also all these kinds of uh, Ella Fitzgerald influences and also rockabilly stuff and but a lot of things. How do you write? How do you write? Because you you, you write lyrics? Yeah, mainly. Okay, Christian also do uh, lyrics when he when he um, he he usually makes them all of the music actually uh, the drums as well. Um, uh, working in his uh, home studio, and sometimes he uh, has got a um, um, rhythm or something he thinks that can uh, be a, a good vocal on it. And then he uh, he um, writes some lyrics, and then I then I finish it or or just uh, add something. Yeah.